give Rhode Island credit. Um, they came out and they pressed us and caught us off guard a little bit. But I thought in the second half, our, our guys, you know, we challenged them at halftime. We, we didn't shoot the ball well, we missed layups, we weren't defending, they shot 50%, 57% from threes. And, you know, our guys came out and, and, and met the challenge in the second half. Um, went on a 15 2 run. We always emphasize the first five minutes, the first 10 possessions of the second half are critical. And we got ourselves back into the game. Um, and we didn't play perfect, but um, we defended better, we rebounded better, um, and we took care of the ball. And um, that, that was, you know, we had some good stops. I thought Daquan Cook was, was terrific throughout the game, uh, especially when he knew he got in foul trouble. I thought um, Yusu came in and, and, and had two big, uh, had the dunk, had a charge, had a rebound. And, you know, we always talk about the, the strength of the pack. And um, we, we, were, we were strong today. It was, a, it was a team effort. It wasn't one guy. Everybody um, did their part. And it was, uh, especially on the road, because that's winning anywhere on the road is, is really, 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 really difficult. What was the mindset behind sitting Andrew with two fouls? I was sitting with two fouls. Um, I just, you know, the, no, no game is won in the first half. Um, you know, we, we need him on the, on the court, um, especially down the, down the stretch. And, um, we always do that. We wish he doesn't get into foul trouble and have to stop. Because we're a much better team without him. Uh, excuse me, with him. Uh, but that's that's our philosophy. And that's my philosophy. The last time you were here, you got an early foul trouble. You got that foul. right. But can you talk about how he rebounded today in the second half and, and put up some good numbers? He did. He um, he's our go-to guy. Um, you know, he had some uh, you know you know good offensive uh, plays. He, he, He's a guy when we need something we go to. But I, I thought, like I said, it was a team effort. I thought that Quan played um, terrific. The last two games, it's been the best two games he's played in his career. Final session of uh, regulation. Yeah. What were you defending against? Uh, we thought they were going to run. You know, my assistant did a great job in scouting, and uh, they have a play which is, you know, it's a lob play, two and a half seconds, and we thought they were going to run the lob. I'm not sure what they ran, um, but you know, thank goodness uh, we defended it. Well, even then they had. The weave, whatever they're doing. Do you guys kind of ready for that? No, it's you know you just you know scouting just make sure we were switching off screens. Um, you never know what what teams are going to run. Um, you just go out there and try to play your fundamentals. You mentioned the first five or ten possessions of the second half. Yeah. Before. What made you guys so successful defensively? I think we played harder. Yeah. You know, I think we were more focused. Um, we understood if we were going to get back in the game, we needed to make the first run. If they made the first run in the second half, the game was going to be over. It was going to go from 10 to 15 to 20. You know, it, it, we were done. So our guys, you know, we got competitors, um, and, and they want to win. And, and, you know, it was important to come out in the second half and give a better effort than we did in the first half. This is a league of really incredibly extraordinary balance so far yeah. this year. Yeah. With them at the bottom, but did they seem like any different than the next five or six or seven no. teams that you could name no. in terms of how difficult they were for you? Yeah. This, this league is really balanced. There's not one team that's going to run away with it. And, you know, you look at it, we beat Dayton at, at, at home. We go to Xavier and, and they, they shellack us. And then Xavier goes to Dayton and, and, and gets beaten pretty bad. You know, it's it's really, winning on the road is really, really difficult. Um, and that's why we always preach to our players, you got to protect home court and try to steal some on the road. And if you can steal two or three on the road, then, you know, you can get the 10 or 11 wins and that, that gives you a good seed um, for the tournament. You got a couple of games down the stretch, you know, in the final two minutes or so that haven't maybe gone your way. What about today? Making those plays in overtime, getting some of those critical stops to. Yeah, I would say Jack Nichols always says you learn how to win by winning. And, um, you know, we, we went a long way today of learning how to win on the road. Um, we've lost a um, you know, number of games against good teams on the road where you know, we've had leads or, you know, at the buzzer or whatever. And you learn how to win by, by putting yourself in, you continue to put those, yourselves in those situations and coming out, you know, on top one. Once in a while, and you know, hopefully this this you know carries over, gives our guys a lot of confidence. As Bob said, the team, the league is very even, top yeah. to bottom. Yeah. Uh, you're sitting four and two now. How do you survive with the league just constantly beating up? One game team? at a time. You know, just one game at a time. We got Richmond coming up on Saturday. We just we go back and we watch tape and we practice tomorrow, and Friday, and do the best job we can in, in preparing our players um, to, to play and, and compete against Richmond. Every every game's going to be coming. You know, every game's going to be. Coming. To a wide like this, it's really competitive. That you know, every team has good players, good coaching, um, and you just try to do the best you job, job you can each and every day. And it's just one game at a time. And it's all you know, coach talk, but it's the truth. But you mentioned you at the beginning. Yeah, I mean, he made just some some huge he hits, terrific. Some he's a great kid. It seems like each time he gets minutes like that, he's got. Yeah, he's learned. He's you know, he's only eighteen, and 
he's really raw. Um, a lot of times I don't know what he's doing offensively. He gets lost a little bit, but he has a big heart and, and he's a competitor. And, and it's, it's, I like to see good things happen to, to good kids that work hard. And he's got a bright future. Anything else? Okay, guys, All right, thanks. thanks. thanks.